In this problem, we're being asked to solve this quadratic equation using something called the quadratic formula. So when you're using the quadratic formula, the first thing you want to do is identify your a, b, and c. So a, b, and c are going to appear in this equation. So the number right in front of the x squared is always your a. So a is equal to 1. The number right in front of your x is always your b. So b is 5. And c is always going to be the constant term. So c is equal to 1. All right, now let's go ahead and write down the quadratic formula. It's a good idea to write it down when you're first learning it. That way you end up memorizing it. So x is equal to, so in the numerator, it'll be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And it's all being divided by 2a. So now all we have to do is plug in the numbers. So let's see. x is equal to, so b is negative 5, so we have negative 5 plus or minus the square root of, so b is 5, so it'll be 5 squared minus 4 times a, a is 1, and c is 1. It's all being divided by 2a, so 2 times 1. I didn't skip any steps. You can skip steps, just be careful, especially be careful if c is negative. So like if c is a negative number, you'll get negative and negative and it'll become positive. So be really careful uh, if when you have a, a negative value of c, it's really easy to mess up. All right, see what happens here. So x equals negative 5 plus or minus, uh, 5 squared is 25, so you have 25 minus 4. 4, so that's going to be 21. Yeah, it looks good. All over 2. And that should be the final answer. So you could write it like this, or if you like, you could write it like this. Negative 5 over 2, plus or minus the square root of 21 over 2. Both, both of these should be, you know, uh, okay answers. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, certain homework systems only accept one answer, like they might only take this one, or they might only take this one, but uh, both are technically correct. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.